Hey everyone, I thought I'd bring an update to the oil burner I made for my pole barn out of a hot water heater. It's a low boy, I think it's a 40 gallon. Basically what I did was made a frame for it to put uh, on some legs. I actually cut, cut the hole, cut the door into it and used that piece as the door but welded, welded some uh, inside pieces for it to close up against. Made some hinges, simple. Works pretty good, I've found out. Get a light here. Done some experimenting with some different burners here, as you can see. And some stainless steel with drilled holes in it. They seem to melt the bottoms right out of them. They have aluminum bottoms on some of these stainless steel pans. They work good, but they just don't last long. And I put in some uh, brake rotors to dissipate heat, direct the flame a little bit. So what I've ended up with that I think works pretty good is like a 10 inch stainless or a cast iron skillet. I put at the bottom here to set that in there and then I put a uh, an eight inch piece of quarter inch roll tubing that I cut some holes into set that in there for the sides of the burner <clears throat> and then I put this uh, rotor that I had to cut cut a slot into so I could fit it into the stove. Roll it in there. Gotta roll it in there and then lift it up. Set it on top with a cutout for the the air tube which houses the oil drip feed. So I center that on there. Now I'm going to start it up and I'll give you an idea what it looks like. So the first thing I do is come over here. I've got a, an old Freon tank that I converted. It does have a valve here which works good for uh, any water to drain out. So I leave that open and the water goes to the bottom, drains out into this pan here. And uh, yeah, so I put a screen on it to screen out any impurities in the oil. This holds a little over two gallons of oil, a couple hours worth of burn time. I go through about a gallon an hour probably. So I'll turn the oil on here. And I've got two, uh, got a needle valve here for precise, a more precise feed, but it all depends on the viscosity of the oil I get. But this is more of a direct, it's a bypass, so I can shut either one of these off. And if you can see in there, I get, uh, I get a flow of oil. Right now it's uh, pretty thick oil, it's pretty cold. So I'll get some oil dripping in there. And then what I do is, <clears throat> since the oil is dripping in there, I just take a about a half a cup of kerosene, stick it in there. Found out that it helps to throw some paper or cardboard in there to get it going. I've got a blower back here I hooked up to the air tube. It's a blower from a hot water heater. So I just plug that in right now. 
oil started. So get it burning. Gets a good flame going. So right now that's the oil, the kerosene, and the little bit of paper burning. It doesn't smoke at all. I could probably leave the door open for a while. But it's got a good burn pattern as you can see. It just depends how much oil I feed to it. And you kind of hear as the draft takes off. I did have five inch piping when I first started out, but I found out that it really plugs up real quick. It doesn't create a real good draft. So this year I was kind of forced to, because in, in the fall when I started it up, I saw that the piping had rusted on the outside. So I replaced, I went to six inch and uh, didn't really have time to make the adapter here go directly six inch so I went from a five to a six adapter went up and out with six inch all the way and I usually I found that if I go to about 75% of this which is about 700 degrees that's a good a good burn for this doesn't overheat it then I'll knock this down to where I'm running off this needle valve here. So this is off here. Got that shut off. And I can turn the needle valve down to nothing. If I go to one turn, one complete turn, that's about the flow I get. And I'll usually leave it one and a half to two turns for normal, there's two turns for a normal flow. It's a good burn. The uh, brake rotors seem to dissipate the heat really good, divert the flame. get some good air going through that but it takes about 10 or 15 minutes for that to come up to temperature to where I want it for burn to heat up this pole barn and uh, I just put a fan here recently on the ceiling to get the air flowing a little bit and today it's not really cold out it's about oh, 40 degrees. It's been in the 20s and 30s, but we got a little warm up coming. So I'll pause here and come back with a update on the temperature and the burn here. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes, I guess. And we're up to about 700 degree fluid temperature, which puts out a lot of heat. I mean, it's starting to put out heat here now into the room. And, uh, but it stays with the fan I've got here now. You can see that it's about 79 degrees here. I did have a problem where it started to melt the foam board here, I got an inch and a half foam board and so I had some cement board that I put up there and it gets hot and uh, after I put that up all the heat started coming up here I'm starting to get to this and melt the, the foam a little bit up there so I put the metal up there that deflected it along with the fan that I've got now works pretty good I also want, forgot to show you that these uh, stainless steel pans 
they were working real good, but they just don't last. They burn right through. They work pretty good, but they just don't last. And so I've been experimenting and I found out that that cast iron skillet, along with the quarter inch pipe, works really good. You can see we got a good roaring flame. Doesn't smoke out at all. Very little. Thing I see smoking right now is that I've got a old piece of uh, the piping that still has got some oil on it. It is stuck up there. But that'll get red hot after a while. And it gets to the point where if it gets starts getting over 800 degrees, I'll shut it down a little bit. Knock it down a turn. And I can adjust it that way. So, got any questions, let me know. And I'll post some more if you're interested. Thanks for watching.